Lesson 9 homework. Number 1. Make like units and then add. A. 3 fifths plus 1 third. So we're going to start by finding our common denominator. To do that, we're going to list the multiples of the denominators we have, 5 and 3. So for the multiples of 5, I'm just going to list 3 or 4, 5, 10, 15, 20, and then I'll list some multiples of 3, 3, 6, 9, 12. Now what we're looking for is a multiple that they have in common. So right now, they don't have anything in common. So I'm going to keep going here with 12, 15, 18, and now I see we have 15 as a common denominator. So I'm going to use 15 as our common denominator. The next step is to actually make 3 fifths into 15 fifths. So in order to change fifths into 15 fifths, I need to multiply it by 3. And in order to keep it the same, an equivalent fraction as 3 fifths, I need to multiply by 3 thirds. Because 3 thirds is equal to 1. And so if I'm multiplying 3 fifths times 1, anything times 1, you're going to get an equivalent fraction. So this ends up being 3 times 3 is 9, 5 times 3 is 15, 9 fifteenths. 9 fifteenths is equivalent to 3 fifths. And then I need to do my 1 third. So 1 third I need, also need to make into fifteenths. And to do that, I'm going to 3 times 5 is 15. So I'm going to do 5 fifths because that's 1. And when I multiply by 1, I'm going to get, or 5 fifths, I'm going to get 1 times 5 is 5. 3 times 5 is 15. So we have 9 fifteenths plus 5 fifteenths is equal to 14 fifteenths. B, 3 fifths plus 1 eleventh. So I'm going to find my common denominator for 5 and 11. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And now I'll list the multiples for 11. Okay, we don't have anything in common. I'm going to keep going with 25 because it's much lower than 55. Still don't have anything. Ah, there it is, 55. So our common denominator is going to be 55. My next step is to actually change these fractions so that they have a denominator of 55. So 3 fifths times 5 times, let's see, we can use our um, multiples to figure out 5 times what is 55. So it was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 5 times 11 is 55, and I need to do 11 elevenths plus 1 eleventh times, how are we going to get 11 times what is 55? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 fifths. And so 3 fifths times 11 elevenths, 3 times 11 is 33. 5 times 11 is 55. So 33 50 fifths plus... 1 times 5 is 5, and 11 times 5 is 55, so 5 50 fifths. 33 50 fifths plus 5 50 fifths is 38 50 fifths. C, 2 ninths plus 5 sixths. First thing we need to do is list our multiples for 9 and 6. So it looks like 18 is going to be our least common denominator. So 2 ninths times what? 9 times what gets us 18? Well, that would be 2. So I'm going to multiply by 2 halves plus 5 sixths. 6 times 3 gets us 18. So I'm going to do 3 thirds. And here we would get 2 times 2 is 4, and 9 times 2 is 18. So 4 eighteenths plus 5 times 3 is 15, 6 times 3 is 18, so 4 eighteenths plus 15 eighteenths is 19 eighteenths, 
that's an improper fraction. If I make it into a mixed number, I'll have 1 and 1 18th. 2 fifths plus 1 fourth plus 1 tenth. So now we have 3, which means I'm going to need to list the multiples of 5, 4, and 10, because I need to find a common denominator that will work with all three. So 20 works for all of them. I'm going to change 2 fifths. So 2 fifths, 5 times 4 is 20, so 4 fourths, plus 1 fourth times 4 times 5 gets us 20, so we're going to multiply by 5 fifths, plus 1 tenth times 10 times 2 gets us 20. And 2 fifths times 4 fourths could get us 8 twentieths, plus 1 fourth times 5 fifths is 5 twentieths, plus 1 tenth times 2 halves would be 2 twentieths. Add those together, 8 twentieths plus 5 twentieths is 13 twentieths, plus 2 twentieths gets us 15 twentieths. And if you reduce that, 15 twentieths is equal to 3 fourths. one-third plus seven-fifths. So again, I'm going to list my multiples for three and five. Don't have one yet. Okay, 15 will be our common denominator. So one-third times, we need to make it 15, so five-fifths, plus 7 fifths times 5 times 3 is 15, so 3 thirds. That gets us 5 fifteenths plus 21 fifteenths. If we add those together, we get 26 fifteenths. Now that's an improper fraction, so if I take out 15 fifteenths, 15 plus 11 fifteenths, and that would be equal to 1 and 11 fifteenths. At 5 eighths plus 7 twelfths. So common denominator for 8 and 12. So let's use 24. 5 eighths, 8 times 3 is 24, so we're going to do 3 thirds, plus 7 twelfths, 7 times 2 is 24, so we're going to use 2 halves, so 5 eighths times 3 thirds, we'd get 15 twenty-fourths, plus 14 twenty-fourths, 15 twenty-fourths plus 14 twenty-fourths is 29 24ths, and if we make that into a mixed number, we will have, take out a whole, 24 24ths, we'll have 5 24ths left, which is equal to 1 and 5 24ths. G, 1 and 1 third plus 3 fourths. So I'm going to save the 1 for later. And I'm just going to find a common denominator for 3 and 4. Okay, let's use 12. So we're going to have 1 and 1 third times 3 times 4 is 12. So 4 fourths plus 3 fourths. 4 times 3 is 12, so we're going to do 3 thirds. So we'd have 1 and 4 twelfths plus 9 twelfths. 1 and 4 twelfths plus 9 twelfths is 1 and 13 twelfths. 
Now that's an improper fraction, 13 twelfths. So if I have 1 plus I'll take out 12 twelfths plus 1 twelfth, we're going to get this 12 is equal to 1. So we now have 2 and 1 twelfth. 5 sixths plus 1 and 1 fourth. So 6 and 4. And 12 will be our common denominator. So I'm going to make 5 sixths into 12 So 6 times 2 is 12. So I'm going to multiply by 2 over 2 plus 1 and 1 fourth. 4 times 3 is 12. So I'm going to multiply by 3 thirds. And we'll get 10 twelfths plus 1 and 3 twelfths which will get us 1 and 13 twelfths. Again, that is an improper fraction, which is what we just had over here, exact same answer. And so once we convert it, it's going to be 2 and 1 twelfth. Number two, on Monday, Kaw practiced guitar for two thirds of one hour. When she finished, she practiced piano for three fourths of one hour. How much time did Ka spend practicing instruments on Monday? So two-thirds of an hour plus three-fourths of an hour. Common denominator for three and four. Is 12. So two-thirds times four-fourths because 4 fourths will get us 12, plus 3 fourths, 4 times 3 is 12, so 3 thirds. We'll have 8 twelfths plus 9 twelfths, that is 17 twelfths. That's an improper fraction, so I'm going to take out 12 twelfths, or one whole, and do 12 twelfths plus 5 twelfths, because that's equal to 17 twelfths, which is equal to, this is 1 and 5 twelfths hours. Number three, Miss Howe bought a bag of rice for dinner. She used three-fifths kilograms of the rice and still had two and one-fourth kilograms left. How heavy was that bag of rice that Mrs. Howe bought? So she used three-fifths and still had two and one-fourth kilograms left. So together, how much they were before she used it is what we want to know. So we need to do three-fifths plus two and one-fourth. Let's find our common denominator for five and four. going to be 20. So in order to make 3 fifths into 20 ths, 5 times 4 is 20. So we're going to do 4 fourths plus 2 and 1 fourth. In order to make fourths into 20 ths, we need to do 5 fifths. So we'll have 12 20 ths plus 2 and 5 20 ths. And we'll get 2 and 12 twentieths plus 5 twentieths is 17 twentieths kilograms. Number four, Joe spends two fifths of his money on a jacket and three eighths of his money on a shirt. He spends the rest on a pair of pants. What fraction of his money does he use to buy the pants? So his pant, the amount of money that he spends on his pants is gonna be one whole or on everything is going to be one whole. What we know so far is he spent two-fifths on a jacket and three-eighths on a shirt. So the whole, this whole thing is his money. He spends two-fifths on a jacket and three-eighths on a shirt. 
and the rest on pants. This we don't know. So what we need to do, let's first figure out how much he spent on the jacket and the shirt. So let's do two fifths plus three eighths. Common denominator for five and eight. Okay, I still don't see one, so let's keep going. All right, 40. So let's make two fifths into 40 fourths. Five times eight is 40, plus three eighths into 40 fourths. Eight times five is 40. So we'll get 16 40 fourths plus 15 40 fourths. 16 plus 15 is 31 40 fourths. So together, this piece is 31 40 fourths. So in order to get to one whole or, f or 40 40 fourths, I need to figure out what is left here. So let's do 40 40 fourths. I'll use a different color. 40 40 fourths minus the 31 40 fourths, and we'll get nine fortieths. That's how much of his money he spent on pants.